I'm Barbara Cox. I'm the Vice Dean for Academic Affairs and the Clara Foltz Professor. And I've been at Cal Western. This is my 30th year. Hello. How are you? Good. I'll take the hibiscus berry. Okay. Small size, whatever that is. Okay. Anything else today? No, that's all. The vast majority of what I've done over my career are two things. One is uh, being a law professor and the other is working for marriage equality over 32 years before the, um, we got the win in the Supreme Court. It's so amazing looking back on it now because no one was even imagining that same-sex couples should have legal rights. I had been working with Evan Wilson from the Lambda Legal uh, Marriage Project. We really were the only national organization whose focus was winning marriage equality nationwide. You know, being on the board with such a dynamic group of people, Evan, uh, Mary Bonato, who won the case in uh, Massachusetts to allow marriage for the first state, and then argued at the Supreme Court when we won nationwide, and just dream it up. We just dreamed it up. And, you know, we had many losses and many disappointments. Evan always said, we're going to lose forward because we lost 41 straight ballot initiatives. But it was the constant conversation. It was always in the news. People were talking about it. People who weren't out were coming out. You know, it's actually not a bad way to run one's life losing forward because we, we all experience negatives, problems that happen, roadblocks, and learning how to move forward from them and not give up and not lose your optimism. And I think that whole idea is such a vital skill. One of the things that I'd really hope to inspire the students at Cal Western to do is to do pro bono work and give back. It's, it's such a vital part of being a lawyer. Many of us come to law school, I came to law school to change the world. And then you realize there aren't very many jobs available for changing the world. And so you get your day job and then you do this on the side. Just because you can't become a full-time activist doesn't mean that you can't have a huge influence. People really need to, especially students, need to think more broadly of how they can contribute to the world because there's so many ways to contribute and there's so many ways to help push things forward. Um, you know, I think I grew up in a world seeing the limitations that were being put on people um, who just wanted to be who they were. And so it became the focus. You know, growing up in the 60s, I've always wanted to be engaged and I hear that so often from our new students. When I think about the impact on my students, I hope that they want to be lifelong learners. I think it's so important to be curious and inquisitive and find the thing that makes them say, when I look back over my career, I've really helped make a difference.